Let's get this figured out This rug gon' give me whatever I need until I get this vision out Then they gon' pay me whatever I ask cause I got it figured out Tell me be checking all up on a nigga to see how I'm feeling now Damn it love to see a nigga really make a killing now I put a lock on the game and I hide the code in the keys I am not playing no games, I really play this shit for peeps Madden Heads YouTube, what's going on? It is your boy, Coach DC, coming back at you today with another video. Y'all see the boom tech, or just regular dive tackling. Um, I was just thinking about something yesterday, man. I was like, man, I, I never want to come off too negative about like anything, really, but especially about this game because... I mean, y'all hear me, you know, I, I have my moments with it, but you see more of, of, of the stuff that I do that works than doesn't. So, yeah, we all going to have days where the algorithm just kind of beats us up. But trust me, this is still a game of mechanics and you can still have a lot of fun playing this game if your mechanics are in order. That's the reason for the mechanics is because of the um, DDA and. You know, my, more of my frustration comes from the non-functionality stuff, like not being able to get my adjustments in, you know, um, yeah, not being able to hot route, not being able to call timeout or, or just, yeah, not getting plays in overtime <laughs> in the college. But no, I, I have a lot of fun playing the game and I continue to play it because of the mechanics and the mechanics are just the things that, that will make you be able to you know, make the one-handed curl spec catches and, and all that stuff. And so if, if, especially for you guys who like have the mechanics Bible or, you know, the college game or whatever, and you guys who, you know, you're still getting into the mechanics and figuring stuff out. I'm telling you, man, just, just lock in because the game changes and morphs as the year goes along, you know, with different stuff becoming more powerful, less powerful, you know, some things work more or less. And so it's it's really just trying to stay as consistent as you can stay with your mechanics so that you you can kind of see the pitfalls ahead of time and, and, and be able to avoid those things. You know, when you see those signs earlier in the game, you know, when the algorithm is getting to you, it was a good switch stick right there. Um, and, and for me, like, I mean, just speaking of switch stick, switch stick is what keeps me like, like really locked into this game you know when i'm really playing because the switch stick just makes the defense it just makes every defense kind of playable if you can figure out your opponent's um tendencies or, or you know if you're, you're timely with your switches and, and what you take away and you know what i mean um with the 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 system that you run if you know what you're taking away then you know you know where the weaknesses are in your defense and, and with switch stick it's kind of easy to get to your weaknesses and to be able to take those away early to discourage a throw you know and kind of force your opponent into you know other stuff you know like like on that play right there that for me that was a i i was not looking at that guy whatsoever you know i mean could because my opponent took away a couple of things that i was looking at but you always have to have the option and you have to have the mechanics to be able to make the throws. Um, schematically, man, defensively, there are there are a lot of things that can be done on this game. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm to be honest, I'm not really having a lot of problems playing defense. I'm having I'm, I'm my defense is great. It's getting off the field. That's the problem. Yeah, if that makes sense. Um, you know, when all the Madden stuff kicks in, yeah, that, that's my source of my frustration, not being able to get my adjustments in. But in terms of like the clicking on and all that kind of stuff, the base in-game functionality of this game, it it performs. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to, you know, it's, it's a difference between knowing what is the BS and what's not. And I guess it's all relative once you start to play it. But for me, again, I'm always about my mechanics. And so I look at it, all right, can I click on, am I getting the responses from the guys that I need to get? And for the most part, I do. 
you know, yeah, of course, it's frustrating when you don't. And it's frustrating when you feel like the game is preventing you from from doing some of the things that you normally like to do. You know, like, you know, when you go downfield to a receiver and you feel like your receivers just aren't responsive. It feels like you're um, you're playing with a weight vest on, like you're running in quicksand and all that kind of stuff. But like I said, for the most part, whatever Madden giveth, Madden taketh away or whatever Madden taketh away, Madden will give right back to you in some way, shape, form or fashion. And so, again, the consistency of mechanics are what keeps me in a lot of games. And, it, and you, know, you guys see when I post, you know, gameplay and stuff, I'm able to kind of withstand some of the bad things that happen during the course of the game, the overthrows, just the silliness, the blown assignments and all that stuff. Because at some point, the consistency of mechanics always kicks in. And so I'm able to either whether it's just match the score, get the first down, I'm always able to do something to give myself a chance, you know, to come out with a victory. And so that's the place that you want to be. Um, again, for you guys who don't have any of my content, any don't have the Mechanics Bible, College Football Guide, any of the virtuals, I'm, I, I can only lead you to the water. I, you just have to go and look at what, so many thousands of people in front of you have already said you look at the reviews you look at what's what's really happening out here in the world of madden it just depends upon how seriously you know you take your game if you you want to elevate your game then trust me if if you're buying ebooks and you don't have mechanics yeah it's, that's you you hustling backwards as i say because it's like you have to know how to make these throws and a lot of the times what you'll figure out is is once you get your mechanics in order you you'll just start to see like your playbook open up and, and your defensive playbook open up and just so many different things and options and you're able to put the ball and throw dimes like that and, and put I mean be able to take that risk and have the mechanics to make that throw. That was an absolute like that was a crazy dime. I'm I mean like seriously. Um you know, to be able to get the ball over and, and under defenders and in between, you know, zone windows and all that kind of stuff. And so hopefully, you know, like I said, I hope, hopefully the revamp passing is coming. And then for me, that'll if it works the same way it does in, in, on the college game on this game, it's going to be like dynamic. You know what I mean? And so just understanding the simple stuff, how to make moves, how to fake I mean, how to juke, you know, how to set your jukes up. I mean, like the simple mechanic stuff is, is the stuff that really will make this game fun. Even in the dog days, you know, um, when all the, the, the other algorithm stuff and all, it, the game is just playing funky because, it, I mean, it, game days like that happen. It's just some days I, I just, I'll sit and I have to fight and struggle every single game and I feel like I should be winning every game. Um, all right, what's coming up next? Um, we are getting off into the pocket presence and strengthening your um, pocket. Uh, I forgot what the exact name of it is. And then after that, yeah, after that, we're going to have a little fun. We're going to get off into um, the Detroit Lions offense strategy guide, man. It's some stuff in this, this man, that Lions playbook, bro. I am here to tell you. I'm, I'm surprised I don't hear more people talking about the Lions playbook because it has just like that right mix of, to me, it has everything. It has to have a little bit of um, under center stuff, you know, some shotgun stuff, you know, uh, a little bit of glitchery, you know, throwing in some glitchery, you know, it, it has plenty of that. And so, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's that Detroit Lions playbook. I'm, I, for me, that is, has been the playbook. I mean, I, well, I haven't been playing with it the whole time, but that's the playbook I've kind of settled on. I know every year I always kind of find me a little base playbook to um, settle into. But that Detroit Lions book is definitely where it's at. But, yeah, man, I'm telling y'all, man, if you, you, you're able to get movement on this game and you understand how to move, how to get your guys to certain positions, um, you can play defense on here. Clicking on, being able to swat like so. You know, it's, it's a game within a game when it boils down to the mechanics and to me, that's what keeps me playing the game. It's not necessarily that I just 
<laughs> love the outcomes all the time. But no, nah, no, nah, the game within the game is definitely what keeps me rolling. Um, being able to make a mistake and make up for that mistake with the mechanics. So, yeah, man, y'all keep fighting and struggling, man. Don't give up. It's a good